most parents will have competition with their children what is your son scored i never ask that one how much your son scored and how much my son scored and compare don't do that it is not good for you and worse for your child every flower is beautiful but it's in own way you cannot say rose is better hibiscus is not no hibiscus has its own property its own color its own volume and uh, it, it it looks different every child is a flower by himself or it herself do not compare and you know when uh, my children used to appear for the exam they get marks i will just see keep quiet i have seen many parents because i came from a teacher's family i understood what it is but i have seen parents they will retotal it okay they retotal not the child the child is very happy to play outside <laughs> oh teacher has not given one mark here you know in programming there is one mark less out of 10 she has given 9 he and but the real problem uh, the pro- program is really right so she or she should get 10 next day they come with that sir you should give my child or madam you should give 10 marks okay due to some reason that you know what happens when correcting paper you know the teacher i know for us between 9 and 10 there is not much difference it is very very good okay uh, logically hand write everything is good give 10 little bit of the difference is there give 9 Okay, that's the way. Normally, I never used to give ten marks to anybody. Always keep them a little low. Always we prefer to give. As a teacher, you don't want to give hundred out of hundred in language at least. No language other than Sanskrit you can get hundred out of hundred because language is individual, individual taste. In mathematics and all, you cannot help it because logically you should do that one. But still, if the child gets ninety-nine, parents said, "Where he?" I have seen so many parents telling their child, "The child comes with the report. I got ninety-five." instead of being happy for 95 where did you lose the remaining five marks <laughs> don't ever do that you know if you burn them when they are young they will be burnt out by the time they come to college and you regret for that don't make your child burnt out by the age of 14 or 16 or 18 they have big life ahead you want your child should what is your aim in life actually you should question that what is your aim in life I want my child should get always first rank. It is not possible, because this world has many bright people, many scoring people, many good people. Not that nobody can remain in the zenith for a long time. Nobody, including Bill Gates, nobody can remain, because Mother Earth, Kalidasa says in his poem, in one of his classics, "Bahurat Nani Vasundhara." He says, "Oh Mother Earth, you have many Kohinoor diamonds in with you. Not one Kohinoor, many Kohinoor diamonds." 